Dwight Schrute is manager! Every once in a while, a TV series premieres that takes its time to find its footing. But it's one iconic season or a streaming service deal that ends up blowing the series way beyond the expectations of critics and audiences. Today at Screen Rant, we look at a few such modern TV classics that have now become the biggest shows in living memory. As a remake of the short-lived UK sitcom The Office, there weren't many high hopes riding on the Steve Carell-led sitcom. The first season tried hard to ape the intentionally cringe-inducing tone of the British series. But as the series began deviating from the original and became more wholesome with office pranks and romantic subplots, The Office became one of the biggest American sitcoms and ran for nine seasons. The Canadian sitcom Shit's Creek by Dan Levy and Eugene Levy took its time to become a cultural phenomenon. Most of the early seasons went under the radar with little exposure. But ever since its third season dropped on Netflix, the streaming platform bumped up the show's viewership numbers, and the final season won a total of nine Emmys. Squid Game's premise seems reminiscent of survival game shows in films like The Running Man and The Hunger Games. But despite its familiar premise, this Korean language series took the world by storm ever since its first season dropped on Netflix. Viewers all over the world resonated with the show's themes of economic inequality while also being impressed by the vibrant production design. The dystopian survival thriller defied expectations further by becoming the most watched Netflix series in its first four weeks. It also earned 14 Emmy nominations with Jung Lee Jai winning Best Actor in a Drama Series, a rare feat for a non-English TV show. This story of a high school chemistry teacher selling drugs seemed darkly funny on the surface, more so with a sitcom star like Brian Cranston in the lead. But Cranston wasn't acting in Malcolm in the Middle anymore. As Breaking Bad progressed, Cranston became became more intense as the drug lord Walter White. Ever since its third season dropped on Netflix, more universal viewers could catch up on the series. And the rest, as they say, is history. With the same writing team as the American remake of The Office, Parks and Recreation felt like yet another Office ripoff. With its mockumentary format, Amy Poehler's bureaucratic Leslie Nope felt like a gender-flipped version of Michael Scott. But from the second season onwards, the writers tried adding more individuality to the ever optimistic Leslie, and the show progressed as a satire on the American government system as well. The changes worked, and today, Parks and Recreation is as popular as The Office. I know I should be chasing your vote, but I stand behind my decision to avoid salad and other disgusting things. From classic sitcoms to sleeper hits on streaming, these shows prove how a few changes and story developments can create TV show history. The Office and Squid Game might be household names today, but even the showrunners didn't expect such shows to become this big. What other series do you think turned out way better than anyone expected? Thank you for watching Screen Rant and stay tuned for more TV news.